Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Press This, Press That. I'm your host, Matt. And I'm Dan. Dan, welcome back. Actually, welcome back me. Welcome back you. Been on vacation for about a week. <laughs> it's great to be back. Uh, a lot of people taking my spot, John and Scott. But they did a good job. They did a good job. They did a great job. Glad to have them on there. A couple new shows in the works. We got a developer show. Yeah. Uh, hopefully we got an SEO show coming. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but this is the show where we introduce plugins and other various WordPress things, putting them head to head. Head to head with each other. Hopefully. Hopefully finding a winner. We haven't found a winner yet. Yeah. It's tough. It's tough. We usually we're finding things that are uh, really easy to use and really complex stuff and they're good in both kind For of For different cases. people, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So today we're looking at sharing and social plugins. Uh, Shareaholic and Dig Dig. You got it. Uh, so why don't you go ahead and introduce Shareaholic. Awesome. Awesome. So Shareaholic was actually uh, introduced to us by uh, young lady Janet Aronica. And it's made by the company Shareaholic. So it's sort of like this 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 web developer who does not only this plugin for WordPress. They also integrate it. They have their own um, analytics mm -hmm. that they use that you can that you can sign up with them for. Yep. And this is sort of an extension on that. Yeah, it's like a Google Analytics for your social graph. I yeah, guess you would. it's great. So Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, mm -hmm. all the majors. <sighs> literally, literally everything. And okay. and sort of kicking it off with the look at the Shareaholic plugin. Uh, they they also kind of title it. It's either Sharehawk or Sexy Bookmarks, depending on who you ask. Mm -hmm. um, I prefer Sexy Bookmarks. Yeah. It's a little cooler. Yeah. And and the way it works is they have tons and tons and tons of these these little share buttons that you can put. They're all custom mm -hmm. and they look really nice on your website, uh, WordPress powered website that is. Mm -hmm. um, and you go through here and it's a really clean interface. Really not a lot of setup to do. Mm -hmm. You can put your you know your your share buttons with Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Gmail. I mean, there's like literally everything. Evernote. The list goes on. Mm -hmm. um, they have all these links here. You put it underneath, above, in the top bar uh, of your website as well. I thought that was a really cool feature. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so instead of your traditional uh, share links at the top of the post or below the post mm -hmm. uh, or dig dig that floats to the side, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Yeah. The Shareaholic does a top bar, almost like when you're using um, uh, Stumble Upon. Some, yep. And it, that it keeps the, the bar. Stumble, up top. stumble, stumble, yep. stumble, stumble. Yep. In this case, it's like, 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 like. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, that being said, one thing we did find was a rather, maybe not a glaring omission, but an omission nonetheless, mm -hmm. was the fact that there was no like button mm -hmm. for your Facebook or anything like that within your post. Yes. So on your top on your top bar, yes there is, you can like, you know, Facebook, you can like our page or whoever it may be that the website is designed for or geared towards. Uh, you cannot do that in the post. You can only share the link or share that one blog post from inside the post. Yeah, it's it, I mean, I guess that's shareaholic is you're mm -hmm. sharing to the social platform. Mm -hmm. Uh, so maybe that's why they're doing it. A little strange that there's no like button yeah. in, in those content areas that we normally see, that you see right. with Dig Dig. Given the uh, fact that they have so many plugins right. available, right. Uh, it was interesting right. Interesting to see. Uh, so uh, rather popular plugin, three and a half stars out of five. 1.7 million 1. downloads. 1.7 million downloads. And I think what happened, uh, and we can go back and just double check this for the show notes, uh, sure. I think what they did, what Shareaholic was, they took over the sexy bookmarks. Oh, plugin. okay, that's what it was. Um, okay. They kind of merged it too, which is oh, an okay. which is an interesting trend that I found out when we started looking at Dig <laughs> Dig. 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 Uh, I didn't realize that they were actually acquired by the Buffer app. Yeah. Uh, so that's Buffer app is another social platform mm -hmm. uh, for sharing your content, putting it in a buffer, timing yeah. when you want certain tweets or Facebook posts to go out. Yeah. Uh, useful app. I've used it before. Similar um, to like a Hootsuite or something yeah, like, like that, like a directory. Yeah, definitely like a like a Hootsuite. Uh, they don't have as much of the analytics that a Shareaholic has. Right. Uh, Shareaholic probably been doing it a little bit longer. Yeah. Um, and the Dig Dig plugin got three and a half out of five stars, mm -hmm. with only about a half a million downloads. Yeah, still a lot. Still but a lot. But not quite. Uh, Dig Dig is one that we use a lot, one that I use a lot. Uh -huh. But I'm seriously going to start looking back, uh, looking back at Shareaholic again. I've used it in the past uh -huh. before it was really mature. Mm -hmm. uh, but Dig Dig's great. It's got that iconic floating sidebar yes. uh, share button, which I love. Yeah, um, it's definitely great on a desktop. But as we see a lot of stuff going to mobile, mm -hmm. um, tablets, phones, um, seven-inch screens, eleven-inch screens, <laughs> any uh, any-inch screens, any-inch yeah. screens. Uh, the floating sidebar is kind of getting a little long in the tooth right now. It's right. getting a little aged. Right. Um, and if you're on mobile, you really don't see it depending on, the, depending on your site and how it's designed. Correct. Um, but I do like Dig Dig, again, for its straightforwardness. Mm -hmm. um, it's not as pretty as 
uh, the Shareaholic, uh, but it definitely does some, there's some cool developer things, a, a lot of finite things that you can tweak. Um, and the authors keep it up to date, obviously now owned by the Buffer app. So this is kind of an interesting head to heads, two social platforms with their two inherited plugins. Yeah, two inherited plugins going uh, ahead. So, so it's kind of cool. Um, but I, I like Dig Dig again. You can do the floating display. Yeah. You can do the normal display above and below the content. Mm -hmm. You can weight the different uh, sharing platforms. So if you want Facebook to be first and Twitter to be last, you can handle all that. Uh, all the different custom stuff that you would expect um, with a manual placement. So if you That's don't want to use thing. it anywhere, mm -hmm. uh, if you don't want to use the default settings, you can manually place those share links uh, mm -hmm. in your site. And if you're somebody who's building a custom WordPress site, that's important because you might want to use it in your theme. Absolutely. Uh, you know, and it's not, uh, you know, it doesn't get in the way. And as is so often the case, we have two plugins here. One of them is a very, very uh, pic uh, pictographic. There's all kinds of stuff everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, sort of more visual interface. And the other one's a very more, much more customizable interface mm -hmm. uh, with more options, but it's a little bit, I don't, want, I don't know if dirtier is the word, but a much more simplistic yeah. code, code-ish, yep. you know, code looking, looking interface yep. to the plugin. That would be Dig Dig. The more visual one, of course, being uh, Shareaholic. Nice. Uh, and of course, Shareo Shareaholic having that extended suite of analytics, which is kind of cool. And they have uh, many other tools uh, wrapped around their service, mm -hmm. which, you know, if you're, if you're a WordPress marketer or an online marketer or you're trying to uh, improve your SEO um, and really get out there, um, that could be useful for you. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, so no clear winner again today. Cool. Uh, but that's cool with us. Yeah. I mean, we want to be able to just provide you with the information that Absolutely. we found when we reviewed the plugins. Mm -hmm. I think they're both great plugins. Uh, depends on your workflow, what you're reporting on. Absolutely. Your SEO strategy. Mm -hmm. Are you building a site from scratch? Mm -hmm. You know, do you want the floating display? Mm -hmm. You know. A lot of questions to ask. If you guys have any questions for us, as far as you know, you want a more in-depth look at one of these plugins. There's another social media sharing plugin you like. You want to know sort of how to kind of merge this all with social media, with SEO, let us know below in the comments uh, or subscribe to our uh, YouTube page or to our website and our blog. Yep, and you can find the subscribe to, on our website, slocumstudio.com slash subscribe and slash blog if you want to follow all the rest of our great news. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Thanks, guys. Bye.